Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and welcome to Make It Monday. Today we're going to do something different. We're going to use some junk mail envelopes, and then I'm going to use some of the kit from Rach and Bella that we did in the challenge. This is the journal that I'm going to be putting it in. So we're going to use some of these. And I love that one, so I know I'm going to use that one. Probably that. Maybe that. I think that will be good. So let's just try to get started. Now I've not made one of these. I have no idea if it's going to work or not. may not even work. <laughs> but we're going to see. So I've got four junk mail envelopes. And you'll need to get yours depending on what size journal, journal you're going to be putting them in. Mine are going to fit perfect in this journal. So just make sure that you measure your journals and don't make them too big. So I'm going to put some glue on this flap right here. Like I said, no idea if this will work. I've not done it before, but we shall see. Now, don't go over the little fold when you put your glue down there. And then you're going to take this flap and you're going to see if I can figure it out here. I'm going to insert it in there to where the fold here is in the fold in that one, if you know what I mean. So both of my folds are going to match up, and then I'm going to glue it down just like that. Now, I didn't glue that in there down, but I don't think it's necessary. You can put glue on that if you want. It's just harder for me to slide it in when I've got glue in there because our pocket's going to slide in and out this way, I think, so I'm not going to worry about that. Now we're going to take this one and we're going to glue it on the end here. It's kind of like we made those stacked envelopes that time. Now this envelope, needs you need to make sure that it'll fold in like that without going over your little seam here, your little, where you're your little fold area, I should say. So mine looks like it's going to, but I'm going to give it a little bit of extra room just so I won't, it won't be binding there. So I'm not going to put it all the way up to the fold, all the way up to that crease line. I'm going to back it off a little bit. Try to get them pretty even. never going to be perfect because I'm doing it, but that's okay. We're not here for perfection. We're here to play and have fun. Okay, that'll work. And now we're going to put this one on this side. Again, put your glue on the flap, but don't go over your little score line there that you've already got. And then I'm going to put it on here, but you're not going to go over the score line and I leave a little bit of extra room as you can see about maybe an eighth or a little bit more and then I just make sure that it's going to fold up without any problem both ways and it is so that works okay now we have something that looks like this <laughs> now we're going to cover these with paper and I'll tell you what they're going to be this is going to right here it's going to stitch into our signature and then this is going to be a page on both sides, and the page is going to have a flip out on it. Does that make sense? So we'll stitch it in here. Let's see if we can, let's find a piece of paper that I can demo it with. All right, this, these will be folded up. It will stitch in like this. So it'll stitch here, right down through there. And then when these pages are covered, that'll be a flip out there and a flip out there. Okay? And we'll have some different pockets in there. But first, we need to cover this with paper. Um, and you need to decide if you want your pockets to be this way or if you want to cut in the top and let them be that way. You can do them both ways. And I'll probably do some of mine one and some of them the other. I'm not real sure right now. Or you can even cut out here and let them be 
you know, a pocket going in that way. I think I may just leave all of mine this way. I don't think I want to go in the other direction, so I think I'm going to leave them that way. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some paper, and we'll just start covering. Now I'm not going to go over, I'm going to make a little mark on that little fold there, just so I can see it, and maybe you can too, because I don't want to go over that. And I'll put something on there anyway to cover that. So now I can see my little mark there. Hopefully you can. So I'm not going to go over that, but I'm going to go pretty close to it. Then we're going to put my paper right down through there. Now I'm just going to go ahead and mark, and then I'll cut my paper off. Now I may find when I get this one made that it that I should have covered them before. I don't know. I don't know. How, like I said, not done this before. Don't know how it's going to work. This is a little bit of trial and error. But you know I'm not one to make something ahead of time. I make it as I on the fly as I go. So. It's a little bit big. Maybe it'll cut. So, okay. That looks like it's going to go right there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and ink around mine. That's not something you have to do, as I've always told you that. And I'm going to ink around my envelopes, too. So, I'm going to do that real quick, and then we'll come back. We have those inked around, and I'm going to go ahead and glue that down right there. But I'm going to put my glue on my envelope because I don't want to close it up here, all the way down here. So go ahead and put your glue on the envelope. Normally, I forget, and I put my glue on the paper, and I close my pocket some, but... So we're going to bring this back all the way to the edge of the paper here. And then that's going to leave. It's going to leave that pocket open there. Now you can either cut these down or just leave them like they are. I think. Hmm. Let me think about this. That being in the stitched in the signature, that's going to be too tight there. So I'm going to make this pocket open at the top. Just have to think about that when I glued that down. So I'm just going to run a little bit of glue right at the edge here of this paper and glue that down like that and then we'll open this one at the top. I may open all of them at the top, I don't know. I'm having second thoughts about what I did. <laughs> I'm going to open it now because if I don't I'll forget where I opened it. Or where I need to open it. All right, that works. And we'll go ahead and punch our little pull up here just so I'll know. Well, no, we won't. We'll cover the other side first. So let's go ahead and cover all of them and then we'll punch our pulls. Okay. Now on this one, I think we can leave the pocket here. But I'm going to trim out a little bit on my paper that I cover with. So let's see. Let's do a little bit of trimming on this too. I just want the pocket to be a little bit deeper. Not deeper, but the opening be a little bit deeper. And all of this could have been done before I started, but you know me. I just jumped right into this and I don't think about it too hard. All right, that should work. Now let's grab a paper. I think I'm going to use this one. Yeah, let's use this. And I'm going to mark it and then we'll cut it. Cut it back a little bit. It's clouding up here today like it's going to rain. I don't know if it's supposed to or not. I know during at the later part in the week it's supposed to be a lot cooler. And 
Now I heard that some parts of our, not our state, but some parts of our country has already got some snow. All right, so let's see if we can figure out how far back to cut this down. I'm going to insert it like this. <laughs> I'm going to try to show you maybe an easier way. I don't know. This may not be an easier way, but I'm going to insert it in there. And then I'm just going to draw a line on there. And that is going to be where I cut out. Maybe that'll work. Maybe it won't. We'll see. Yeah, I think the upper parts of maybe, what was it? I don't even remember now. Was it Wyoming? No, I don't know. Anyway, I was reading it on somebody's post the other day. Well, let's see. Yeah, that worked. So insert it in there and then mark it and cut it out. That's a lot easier than guessing, which is what I was about to do. Now, I will link this kit below. I think I still have the name of it around here somewhere. I'll link it below so that you guys can go over and pick it up if you want from Rachel. Okay, so there's our pocket in there. I like that. I like that one a lot. And I'm going to go ahead and just put a little ink right on that. That little white that's showing there. And we can always cover this with some paper later on. Okay, let's put some paper over here. And this one I'm going to open at the top as well. So I'm just going to cut it according to that. So cut it right there and then... Now, all these envelopes are different sizes. If they weren't, I could just measure once and cut them all, but they're all different sizes. So, how are you guys today? What's everybody doing? Did you have a good weekend? Are you well? I'm well. <laughs> Finally, well, partially well. I still have to go Friday and have some dental work done, but... Oh, well, it is what it is, you know. You get old, you have to start having all kinds of work done. I'm not looking forward to that, but I'm looking forward to my jaw not hurting. Right now, my tooth is bothering me because it's it needs a root canal. And uh, it bothers me when I drink something cold or hot. And I hate root canals. I hate them. <laughs> but I, I don't like hurting either, so. Alright. There we go. So we're just going to glue that down. And we can put our glue on here because we'll glue. Well, no, we won't. We're going to put our glue on our envelope again. It's just safer. Because if I don't, I end up closing up the pockets. I know me. And then, let's see. Right on this edge, we'll put a little glue down through there. Now, I think... I believe I had said that I was going to draw for the winners of our 100,000 subscriber giveaway. I think I said I was going to draw today. I'm going to have to let that be Thursday. And the reason being is because I had more blog comments than I realized. <laughs> so I need to get all of those blog comments put over in the... Um, YouTube comments so that I can pull them all by that random YouTube thing of a jig. I know I'm stammering and stuttering around this morning, but 
it. I have to compile them all, in other words, because there's not a program out there that I know of that I can just say, pull all these comments from here and here. It only gives you one option to put one link in, and that's the YouTube link. So what I'll do is I'm going to take the comments from my blog and put them over on the YouTube that I had told you to comment on to enter. And then from there, I will be able to pull the winners. I know that I hate that I'm having to postpone it, but I want everybody to be entered, so I didn't want to leave anybody out. And I know some people commented, commented on here, and then some people commented over there. So, And some people commented both places, which was great. But I do want to make sure that I get everybody entered that wanted to be entered. All right, let's see. Let's just put this on that on here too, this one. So I'll do that first. Let's see. Do I have anything going on Thursday? No, Thursday I don't think I have any appointments. Uh, I'll do that Thursday and then we'll have our winners from that. A lot late me lately my life is just spinning out of control I have so many things going on in my little pea brain does anybody see my mark I do have a mark on here do you might see it nope nobody sees it yeah there it is And I don't know about you, I know a lot of you have told me the same thing, but I get very anxious when I have a lot of things going on. And, on, you know, appointments and different things. I get so, I have anxiety. Big time. And so, this week I'm struggling with anxiety. Oh, me. If it's not one thing, it's two. But, after this week, maybe, well... Things won't settle down too much because next week is the anniversary of when my husband passed away. So that's going to be, I think that's part of my anxiety this month. And I don't know, I, I'm just having a hard time dealing with it. It's been already a year and it just seems like it was yesterday. But I'm not trying to not trying to be gloom and doom today just I, you know I'm just open with you guys I just let y'all know where I'm coming from that's the only way I know to be I'm not one of those that can hide my feelings too much because I am an open book as my husband used to call me he said I can even look at your face and tell when you're depressed I would like to be one of those people who can hide everything and hide your emotions and I think I'd like that, but I'm not. You can hear it in my voice. You can see it on my face. <laughs> All right. I think that's going to work there. So let's go ahead and put that one down. So just forgive me this month if I'm struggling with different things because I have quite a few things going on and anniversary's coming up that I'm not looking forward to so just be patient with me if you will all of the first are pretty difficult I've heard other people say that and now I know what they're talking about okay that, that looks like it worked pretty good so we've got that pocket there, and again, I'm going to go ahead and just put a little glue just where, you know, my paper's showing there. Okay, we've got that covered, so that's going to be cute, I think. Yep. And now we're going to flip it over, and I'm going to make sure I flip it the right way so that I can don't get my paper upside down. And I'm going to cover this side, and I'm not going to worry about the openings. I'm not going to even concentrate on those because I'm not going to save them. 
this is just going to be a flip out page so we're just going to go with that see I need to trim just a little of that off let's see what else can I tell you guys I don't really know too much more Oh, for, for all of you eClub Kit members, I do have the free 8-page digital that goes with the eClub Kit. I have that up over on the website under the eClub Kit. It just says eClub Kit Freebies under that page. So you can go over and grab those now. Finished those up last night. I didn't think I was going to get them finished, but I did. And then I have a new digital that will be going up tomorrow that's called uh, French Coffee House. So you can look for that. I, I like it because I love that the French streets and the old coffee shops and all of that. And that's what it's going to be based on. And then I will get, I didn't get the the newsletter out at the first of the month because I was sick so I will get the newsletter out probably tomorrow I'm gonna try my best um, I had someone that said why have I not got a newsletter since the first of August I said well because I haven't sent one out <laughs> I usually try to send one out a couple of times a month but I don't, I don't think I have that I know of. I don't think I've sent one out lately. All right, I think I'm going to put... I'm going to switch it up a little bit and put this one out here because it's more of the height that I need. And then we'll have to get some more paper to cover these two with. And maybe that cut straight. Mm. Well, yeah, it cut pretty straight. Now, on this side, we can put different pockets and things if we want, or we could just put, you could put paper with, that has a writing space on it. So you can do different things on this side. The other side, we've got the, the pockets. But on this side, I may put uh, some little pockets and have some little journaling cards in there. Oops. Okay, I didn't get that over quite enough to cover that little black there, so what I'll do is probably just run a little bit of washi down through there. I cut it a little short, which is not unusual for me. Okay, let's find more paper for that. We could do just the stripe. That'd be pretty. And you could write on that. Maybe I'll cut this one straight. Let's see. Okay, that one will go right there. Right, that's a little bit better. I think I did a little better on that one. And again, down through here, I'll put some washi. <clears throat> some washi that kind of matches with this. And then do we want to put... Yeah, I don't mind putting that one there. Remember, they're going to be, this is going to be stitched in, so they're going to be in two separate places in your journal. So you don't have to, well, that's a little short. I'm not going to put that there. You don't have to make sure that you don't match them up and all that. All right, let's see what else we've got here. We could do that one. That's pretty. And I'm doing the blues because... Of course, the journal is blue. It's going to be blue-ish. Let's see, do I want to do that side or that? I think I want to do this and have it... Have a little of this and this on there. We'll break it up a little bit. This journal is purchased already, and I will get that finished up for you this week. 
Okay, I lost my mark, so got to mark it again. I do that all the time. And someone said, well, you should mark it on the back where you can see it. Well, yeah, I should. But I don't. I don't ever think about it until I start trying to see the mark. And then I think, well, why don't I mark that on the back? Yeah, I like that. Now it'll fold up like this and go in the journal. So we're going to put some washi, what would we put? Washi or lace? We might put lace down through there. You know, I think I'm going to put lace. Let me grab some lace because that one's definitely not long enough. Let's see, do I have any more on my desk? No, I only have a real wide. Let me grab some lace. I think I'll do this lace. It's kind of an off-white, but it's not antique, so I think it'll look good. Yeah, that's going to work. And I just put... <laughs> I just put some acetone in my fabric tack here and so it's it's coming out a lot. And somebody asked me how do you know how much acetone to put in? I just kind of guess at it. If it's really thick, I put quite a bit, but I I put a little in and I shake it up and I look at it and if that looks like it's working then I leave it and if not then I add a little more and I usually let it sit a little bit longer than I have this that's why it's really thin right now because it'll it'll dissolve in there so it'll thicken up a little bit all right we're gonna go ahead and put it on all of our I think I'm just gonna use the same one on all of the little folds If I have enough, I hope I have enough. Alright, I have enough for this side. I'll probably have to do a different one on the other side, which is fine. Now I'll have to glue this down and let it sit a while since my glue is a little bit thin right now. But it'll thicken up and dry. But I'll let, let these sit and dry before I look and see if I need to put it anywhere else. Oops. There we go. Oh, that's going to be cute. Now in here... Hmm. I'm going to put a piece of something down through here, and that's just going to be to strengthen this, but I'm not necessarily going to use lace because it's really not going to be seen, so I may just use a piece of this, and this is ticking. Oops. Well, I straightened it out, but I sure didn't get enough of a cut there, did I? And this stuff curls when you tear it a little bit, but it'll straighten back out when you glue it down. Okay, so we'll glue this down here. And I don't mind it fraying and all that because, like I said, this is going to be stitched in the center of the signature. So you're not going to see a lot of it anyway. So that part doesn't bother me which most of the time it doesn't bother me anyway. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, we'll put a little bit more glue here. Okay, so that's the part that'll stitch in to the signature. We've got that reinforced. Now here and here, I think I might just slide some paper in there instead of doing washi. Because I've got some little scraps of paper. I have some little scraps that may work just fine here. Yeah, I'm just going to slide those in there. Go with that. And then we'll find a piece to put over here. Okay, that won't be long enough, but we're going to cut it. Don't need that big a piece. still do have a little bit of that showing there. I don't know when I, I may put some lace there later. I don't know. Right now I'm going to leave it like it is. But I think I'm going to add, I think I'll add a pocket here and here. This needs to be open at the top. So let me go ahead and do that. Then we can punch our pulls in here. Hmm, let's see. All right, let's put some pockets out here first. I think I'm going to put a couple of little pockets here. And that would make a pretty pocket. And I don't even think we need to trim it off too much. everything in the floor. Let's try, let's do a half inch on this side. I'm gonna do, I think this is the bottom maybe. Half inch on the bottom. And then a half an inch on this side. Let's see if that's small enough. Yep, that will work right there. I've got so much glue on the end of my fingers, I can't even feel the paper. That's pretty good, isn't it? I saw, I was watching, flipping through channels last night, and I saw a movie where a guy had, this. Is, he was an outlaw or whatever, and he had covered his fingertips so that he wouldn't, leave fingerprints and he covered them with Elmer's glue. <laughs> I thought that's a, that was pretty smart of him thinking that. Oh, they couldn't figure out why they could get no prints and why everything was showing up like Elmer's glue and that was why he had covered all of the ends of his fingers with Elmer's glue and you know when they showed him peeling it off and you know when we was in school we used to do that to play we would put it on our hand and pull it off make it look like skin or whatever and they showed him pulling it off and that reminded me of when I was a kid doing that it was a lot of fun back then that was just that was some of the things that we had to play with you know we didn't have all of the technology that kids do now we played with Elmer's glue and no we didn't sniff it we just played with it we put it on our hands 
but I thought that was funny. Ah, come on now. See, my fingers are even lifting this up because I got so much glue on them. Okay, there's a little pocket there. And then we'll make a little pocket to go over here. Hmm, I could use the same paper, I guess. I was just trying to use my scraps up and not have to cut into another sheet. Yeah, let's just use the same paper. It's going to be on opposite ends of the journal anyway, so let's see. We'll, make sure, we'll try to say this is the bottom, because this is the biggest scrap piece I have. I've used everything else. All right, if you used Elmer's glue like that in school, I want you to let me know in the comments. <laughs> oh, it was fun. Things like that were fun when we was in school. I got caught by the teacher one time, though, because I was putting it on my fingers, and, or on my hands and arms, and she caught me. She wasn't very really happy. So... I had to go to the bathroom and wash it off, and then I had to clean the bathroom. That was <laughs> that was back when they believed in child labor, <laughs> which I should have had to, to do a lot more as much glue as I wasted. And you know, back then, that the school supplied your glue. I mean, it wasn't purchased by your mom and dad back when I went to school. So, I was using the school's money. Oh, let's punch our pool up here. I forgot that. So, she said, Miss Edith, you can just go to the bathroom, clean your hands, and then you can clean the bathroom while you're in there. said, yes, ma'am, because you did not argue with teachers back then. You got a paddling. It's a whole lot more respect back then, I think, than it is today. Our kids don't respect authority anymore. We respected our teachers and our principal and all of that. I mean, if you didn't, when you got home, you would, you would get respect. <laughs> My dad would bust you hot if you didn't. <laughs> All right, I think, now I may put like a little side pocket down through here or something later on, but I think that's all I'm gonna do to that right now, I believe. I know I'll decorate it up more once I put it in the journal, but isn't that cute? And let's grab the journal. And I haven't got my pages in there yet. I've got them out ready to go, but that's gonna be a cute page. And it'll have a flip out on it and extra pockets. I like that. All right, guys. I think that's it for the video. Um, like I said, I'll decorate this up more when I start to put it in the journal. And I'll definitely bring you along with me. Because when I add my pages and all of that, I'll have you with me. But right now, I think I'm going to let this dry really well. And then I'll see what else I might want to do to it. But that just shows you something else Another way that you can use your junk mail envelopes or regular envelopes, whichever you have. We'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.